Uh, hello again, all my fluid art friends. Hi, it's Doris at DF Designs. Um, this is going to be a short video today. Um, I was given another challenge over on Instagram in a little group I'm in. I think there's like a, oh, 140 of us in there, somewhere around there. Anyway, um, but we get a challenge every week. Um, we don't really win anything for it, but we get a challenge. So, my challenge was three colors. Blue, purple, and copper. Okay, and I'm going to share this with the person that gave me those colors. So, here is my copper. It's called Liberty Copper. Uh, I don't know if it's going to focus or not. Okay, and I already put some in a cup. Then I'm going to use Unicorn Spit. I'm going to use this purple which is called uh, Purple Hill Majesty. And then I'm going to use this blue, which is Blue Thunder. And I'm going to use my favorite, nowadays my favorite um, base tint, which is the white. Um, so it's the Rust-Oleum Protective Enamel. It's oil-based. I think that's why it does that. And I do have, let me see if I can find the label. Um, I do have some purple glitter this is uh, from the Recollections line from um, Michael's. I had to think for a minute. Um, anyway, so I've already mixed up my resin. The resin that I use is Stone Coat Countertops Art Coat. It is just so wonderful to work with. Um, I put them in these little little thing right here. Um, the little muffin tin. Or, well, the silicone muffin pan. Because... I don't want to be knocking my cups over, okay? Now, I don't wear a mask, but you should. Um, I've been, Stone Coat Countertops Art Coat has low VOCs, okay? So, you should check, you should check to see what yours has before you, um, before you, um, don't use a mask. And I'm in a very, very well, uh, well ventilated room. I have a fan going off in the corner Not blowing right at this direction because you don't want to do that Because it could blow dust on your piece and you don't want the dust. You don't want the dust boogers I'm going to show you how I well, for all you new people I'm going to show you how I do that with my dust gun because the first time I started every day I am um, I um, blow out the dust boogers before I blow on my piece and you should do that with your with your um and I got a little bit left over I'll leave it in there okay anyway um, I'm not using a whole lot of the colors and I'm gonna put the white on the background this is not that big of a piece so I shouldn't have I shouldn't need I mixed up six ounces and I do have some coasters handy just in case because um, you don't want to waste your resin, okay? <coughs> Excuse me. I've got a smoker's cough. <coughs> don't smoke, kids. But I have smoked since the age of 15, except for a uh, 13-year stint. I didn't smoke anymore. Okay, you don't want to put a whole lot in here. Um, you can always add more if need be. Um, but you can't take color out, so remember that. If you're not sure how it's going to look, let me hammer this real quick so it doesn't get knocked over. Um, if you're not sure how it's going to look, you put a little bit in. Now, because the background's white and this is this is a white, you're not going to see any other color through it, but it's going to be enough to... Uh, to, uh, for the colors to sell on top of it. Okay. Um, oh, let me mix up my two. Okay, this is my copper. I'm just going to do a couple of lines across it. Um, oh, look at that. That looks like a bright, shiny penny. I love that. That is so cool. I hope these colors look good together. I mean, I got the challenge. Um... I think the person, um, I think the person uh, before me, I put purple, white, and gold. That's what. That's how we were doing our challenge today, picking 
you pick the colors for the person above you and then the next person that comes along picks your colors and they comment below your name and so on and so forth and probably the last one will get a comment from the uh, from the um, moderator director I'm not sure what what her title is really okay now this is this is awfully thick but I wanted to make sure I got a lot of glitter in there oh man look at that okay I'm scraping some of it off because it's like stuck to my stick and I might add yeah I might add a little bit more resin to that I don't know yet let me let me see what it looks like okay um, unicorn spit I think it's an acrylic paint um, it says gel stain and glaze I never looked at the label to see what is in it I probably should it's liquid so when you got you want to do about uh, one one to ten ratio um, one part um, the paint to your um, ten parts of resin and remember like I said you can always add more color but you can't take the color out so if it's not dark enough then you can okay come on okay I know I Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. I know what's wrong. I didn't take this paper out. Ah, stupid, stupid me. Um, I'm just going to put that right there. It'll get thrown away with the paper. Okay, I shouldn't have to shake it. Well, I better shake it again just to be safe. So I close the lid. And I'm going to put just a little bit more of that purple in there. Because it doesn't look like there's that much in there. But we will see. A good way to te test the opacity of it after you mix it is you mix it really, really well. Okay. And then you can look at your stick. And I can see a little bit of the color of the wood through it. So it's not that opaque. So that's that's good for what I'm doing. It's that purple glitter over there. I'm a little worried about to tell you the truth. Okay. Um, you always should take safety precautions when you're mixing resin. Um, you know, wear your gloves. Um, I quit wearing an apron because just about my whole wardrobe has got re hard resin stains on it. Ooh, that's a pretty blue. Now, let me see if this is going to need. Yeah, I need to put just a little bit more resin in there. Because it's a little bit thick. And I don't want it to be too thick. I got a little carried away with the glitter. But you can never have too much glitter. That's what a couple of my friends say. You can... Glitter makes everything better. Okay, now let me move stuff around. Okay. Now, first I'm going to put my white my white base tint down. I'm not sure how much I'm going to put on there. And I don't want a really thick layer of it. I just want enough that it's going to give me some cells. And like I said, I've got coasters handy, so... Okay, it's always good to have an uh, old rag or a shop rag or something with some 91% alcohol on it to clean your fingers off so you don't have to keep switching gloves. Okay, first I'm going to push it around, even it out, get it, get it to cover the whole thing, and you just want to push it up to the edge, and you just want to make sure you have no dry spots, because resin... See, the reason I have to push this around is because there's no resin down right now. So I have to push it all over the place. But now when I go to pour my colors on it, it will be pretty good. Okay. 
Now I'm going to get rid of the air bubbles. You only need to just put a little bit of heat on it. Don't point your um, gun right at your um, piece that you're working on, your substrate, for like five, ten seconds. B let the dust blow out of it. Oh, away. Let me see. I'm trying. Away from it. Okay. Okay. Now that feels good enough. So let me. Let me get rid of my little air bubbles. Okay, and now I'm looking at it to make sure. Okay, I see a couple of little half dry spots right here. I'm trying not to cover up the camera, but I have to kind of look at it sideways, let the light hit it. Okay. Now, <coughs> Before I start pouring, I'm going to get some swipey papers out. Because I know I'm going to want to do some swipes. And what I was thinking of was, is doing a blue here and a purple there and swiping it this way or just swiping it straight up. Or, well, you know what? Maybe... Trying to think which way would be the best way. Okay, I see a couple little dry spots here. Okay, um, you know what? I'm gonna just swipe, do a line here and swipe it this way, do a line here and swipe it this way. I think that's what I will do. So I don't need a lot to, to go on there. There's my purple. There's my blue. And yeah, I'm gonna even I gotta even this out just a little bit. I'm gonna make this just a little almost the same length as the blue. Okay, now before you swipe, what you wanna do is, is you wanna heat it up a little bit to get it um to get it thinner. Because I don't want to add the copper right now. You want to put about a pencil width of the edge into the resin lightly and then you want to pull see I'm, pu I'm pulling too much white then you want to pull slowly in the direction you want okay You don't want to get real fast with it. When I'm cleaning off the edge of my paper after each swipe, just so I don't contaminate the colors. Now that was where I just put it in the in the blue and dragged it. Didn't mean to. Okay, now let's see if I get any cells. Eh, I'm getting some. Not many, but I'm getting some. I'm just trying to push it out a little bit to the edge. Let me see if I can do this this way. There we go. Okay, there we go. Now, I'm going to add some lines of copper. It's been sitting, so I'm remixing it.
you want to start your line just a little bit off the edge so you don't get this funny looking shape which is a big drop and to me it looks like a tadpole okay so you don't want the tadpoles and the reason I had put the powder in here first and then put the resin on top of it is because if you put the resin in first it could very well um, poof out of there when you put the powder up on top okay okay mm, I didn't want those drips but it is what it is I got drips there okay now I got plenty left for coasters okay uh, let me blow this out a little bit and see how it looks now I'm just gonna blow it all the way around the edge I'm just gonna blow it in Got way too much copper right there, but let me see if I can get it to come up. Okay, that's got it pretty liquid. Now, let's see how this glitter goes on. And then if you heard that little noise, don't worry about it. It was just my phone. Looks like I almost got way too much glitter in the middle. So, you, if when you feel you got too much color, you can always pick it up and tilt it off. But unfortunately, doing that, I'm losing my little copper lines. So I'm going to have to add some more copper because I really wanted the copper to stand out. So, and I got a, I lost my purple right there too. Crap. Oops, that's the glitter. I'm not exactly perfect at this. I try to do the best I can. Okay. Uh, let me just swipe this up a little bit. Okay, now... And I'm going to put some copper over this glitter just to try to break it up a little bit. Okay, I'm going to blow, put a little bit more heat on it, but not much. I just want to blow the copper back in.
See, I'm afraid I'm losing my copper when I do that, but... Well, you know what? I'm looking at it. I mean, I got a long working time with this resin. I want to get it back over to the edge a little bit, so I'm tilting it this way. The back is taped off. I always go around and I wipe off the edges of whatever might be dripping over the edge. And then I usually go around and I go underneath to wipe off any drips. Because this is going to sit flat on a tray in my dust-free zone. Which not happy about that. All that glitter over there. I want to put just a little bit more blue over there. I'm not happy about that. Now see I went too deep with the with that. So that's not really a swipe. I'm just pushing the resin now with the swipey paper, but at least it's a little bit more blue. Okay. that I don't have a continuous line but I don't want to keep adding stuff and I've completely lost my cells but that's probably because I put way too much heat on it because that's one thing that can happen your cells will break down and disappear if you've got way too much heat on it okay I'm going to call her done as soon as I fill in a little bit of this copper around the edge that's missing. That's all I'm going to do is just try to put some more copper around the edge. I got enough copper in the middle. Okay, I want to put one more big stripe right down the middle. So I'm doing it slow so it comes out big. Don't want it to look like a broken heart, but... Okay, one more time for air bubbles. Then I'm going to do a couple of coasters real quick. And I'll keep the camera on this time for the coasters just so you can see. Um, so if you don't want to see the coasters, you can go ahead and stop now. I thank you for watching. I appreciate all my subscribers, new and old. I appreciate all my just viewers, anybody who just happens to stumble upon my channel. If you're new here, please subscribe. If you like my video, give it a thumbs up. Um... And um, when I reach 500 subscribers, I will be doing a giveaway. So that ought to keep you around for a while, I hope. Um, 
I'm probably going to end up with 500 subscribers. Let me get this out of the way. I'm probably going to end up with um, with um, five prizes for that one. And then that will be the last one until close to a when I get to 1,000. Okay. Um, okay. I need my little... I can't, I can't put coasters on this because it's too pointy. So I get out my little spray cap lids, which work good for this. Ah. Well, let me see how much resin I have for this. I did forget to show you something. If anybody who's watching now watched the video yesterday, this is how the piece dried. And I didn't get those absolute lines. It kind of blended more. But this is how my balloon explosion dried. I'm happy with it. I like it. So, that's a keeper. Okay, tiles. Now, these hexagon tiles, I get them by the box full at um, Home Depot. Uh, let me... Let me pick up this resin right here with one of them. Just to give it a little bit of color and some resin on there so the other resin will um, go across. Because it doesn't matter if it gets a little bit mixed up in the colors because you're going to put more resin on top of it anyway. You just want to get some resin down over the whole surface. Okay, that looks good. Okay, oops. I want to get some over here on the edge and I want to push this over so I know where they're at. Okay, um, I got a little bit of white left, so I'm just going to do a crazy design with it. I'm not going to pour it in any certain direction. I'm just going to do a crazy design with it. And I'm going to do that with the other two colors. Mm, I'm not sure about the purple glitter because that will take over like it did on the other one. Okay. Oh, see I got way too much blue right there. So let me make this one match. Okay, this is my purple. Mmm. I'm going to put the purple glitter down now, but not as much. Just do it on one edge and blow it in a little bit and see if that's not that bad. Okay. So, first I'm going to blow this around a little bit to see what I get. And then I'll add a little bit of copper. Getting the, getting the heat bubbles, I mean the air bubbles out with the heat. Now I turn it on. Okay, gotta stand up to get my heat gun positioned the way I want to. Get yourself some tiles like this, or get yourself some 4x4 four four inch tiles, you know, the ones that cost, oh, uh, if, you, if you find them on sale, you can sometimes get them 8 cents a piece at Home Depot. I have found them for 11 cents a piece at, um, at, um, uh, Menards, and all the, and Lowe's probably has them just as cheap. They're just plain gloss white tiles. Okay, I have no definition in this color. So, let me see what I can do with the copper across it. Um, and then, you'd be surprised what you can do. How you can sell these coasters for $5 a piece. If you go to like a craft show or an art show, people may not buy that painting that you've got up there for a hundred dollars or three hundred dollars but they might buy a five dollar coaster so that's a good thing to take with you to different shows that you might go to mm -hmm. 
I hate to say it, I don't see any design in there. Now I got a little bit of white. Let me see if I can get just a little bit of white up here. Just to kind of break up that dark blue. Okay, I'm going to put a little bit of heat on it. I'll probably put the rest of this resin into a shot glass mold. If you go backwards, I have a little video, go, go back in my videos, I have a little video that shows how I finish off the shot glass um, pieces that I make. call these guys done too I don't want to put much more on it um, so then what you do is is you do the same thing like you did on your on your painting you wipe off the edges you go underneath see I don't even tape off my coasters anymore because if you get rid of the drips underneath and it's a little hot but be careful okay if you get rid of the drips underneath and you lay it on a flat surface like I do um, in my um, in my um, um, dust proof cabinet um, you are, I'm, I'm in the middle of doing a uh, video showing you how I finish the back how I sand off different um, different um, types of drips because sometimes you might get those little round drips underneath sometimes you might get the uh, you might get the uh, um, flat drip underneath and sometimes you might get the drip that actually comes out away from it and then you gotta cut that off um, but I'm, I'm in the middle of working on a video I think these turned out pretty I hate the glare I hate the glare um, oops I got more down there anyway but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do any more coasters um, so listen um, that's it for this video I hope those of you that stuck around to watch me do two coasters thank you I appreciate all my viewers all my subscribers old and new okay I love you I love the resin right out of you guys um, so if you like the video give it a thumbs up um, I've been doing a video a day I go live every Tuesday at 6 30 p.m. Central Time in, uh, I'm in Wisconsin in the United States so if that helps you figure out what time it is in your area um, so I hope you enjoyed watching and I'll see you on the next video and bye for now